How to Become a Phlebotomist in Five Easy Steps. Brought to you by medicalfieldcareers.com. What is a phlebotomist and what do they do? There may be some out there that are wondering what a phlebotomist is and what they actually do. The core job of a phlebotomist is to draw blood from patients. Blood is drawn for many reasons, such as testing, research, or blood donation. Common job duties of a phlebotomist are draw blood from patients and donors, explain what you are doing to patient to relieve any stress, verify patient or donor identity, properly label all drawn blood, enter any and all necessary patient information, and maintain and clean work area and supplies, for example, needles. What is the process to become a phlebotomist? It is most common for phlebotomists to enter the field with a post-secondary non-degree award from an accredited phlebotomy program. It is important to know that only four states, California, Louisiana, Nevada, and Washington, require certification for all phlebotomists. But it is more and more common for employers to require certification for phlebotomists that they employ. That being said, Getting certified is critical to your future success as a phlebotomist. Step one, get or have your high school diploma or GED. This is a must and without it, you cannot become a working certified phlebotomist. Step two, Take accredited phlebotomy training. Selecting the right program for you is important, and the National Accrediting Agency for Laboratory Sciences oversees and accredits all phlebotomy courses. Check the cost, availability, location, and what time schedule you will have before you decide on a training program. Be sure to check the database of accredited schools from the National Accrediting Agency for Laboratory Sciences. Step three, complete the phlebotomy training and prep for your certification exam. After successfully passing the accredited training program, you will be eligible to take the phlebotomy certification exam. It is important that you study hard for the exam for it is the most important thing employers are looking for today in new phlebotomists. Step four, Pass the phlebotomy certification exam to get certified. Below are the national certifying bodies that offer phlebotomy certifications across the country. They are the National Center for Competency Testing, the National Phlebotomy Association, the American Society for Clinical Pathology, the American Medical Technologists, and the National Health Career Association. Each of the certifications offered by these bodies are accepted by employers. Again. If you live in California, Louisiana, Nevada, and Washington, see your state board for specific information regarding phlebotomy certification. Step five, finding a job as a phlebotomist. Phlebotomists work in donation centers, hospitals, and medical centers. They work with many patients daily and are moving around a lot all day long and are on their feet all day. Each workplace is pretty similar for the phlebotomist due to the fact that they do the same function regardless, which is to draw blood. Below are the most common places where phlebotomists work according to BLS.gov. They are hospitals, laboratories, other healthcare services, offices, and outpatient care centers. Before you go, check out our annual $1,500 healthcare scholarship. Fill out our application and submit your 1,000 word essay on why you want to work in healthcare. Maybe you can get your education paid for by us.